Michelle, Dr. Jennifer here, and we are here with What's Old Sunday, and we are doing it old school today because I somehow hurt my eye while I was sleeping, and it just hurts a lot, so I don't really feel like being on camera. Um, ooh, earthquake. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for everyone who bought from me. I really appreciate it. Um, this is the last two weeks. Um, so through part of today, I have an offer that's out right now. I'm waiting to see if anyone else makes an offer before I accept it. But anyway, um, last two weeks of sales, uh, we had a few, so it was good. Uh, ended September just under what I was hoping to make, um, but it is what it is, so like I said, thank you to everyone that's purchased. If you enjoy these types of videos um, or this type of content, definitely subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, but let's just get into the sales because that is why we are here. So our first sale was these Madewell Rail Strike Gray Corduroy Pants, size 26. They sold for $20. I ended up profiting $14.20, and they took 70 90s to sell. Um, they were from the going out of business sale, I think, um, from Clothes Mentor. These were from the fill -a bag sale at Uptown Cheapskate. They were Joe's jeans, Rosewood brown ankle skinny jeans, size 29. They sold for $24. Um, I made $15.32 and they took 220 days to sell. Yeah, I think 220. Um, sorry, I'm reading my handwriting, which is not great. <laughs> uh, these were okay pickup. Joe's jeans have not done well for me really, but I still pick them up because I can't help myself. Um, same thing with like free people and some other stuff if I really like it and um, they were like a almost like a like a pink brown color they were kind of cool looking anyway they're done and gone <laughs> and that's rave because I don't know he's being aggressively loving right now um, then I sold this Jessica McClintock satin beaded evening bag with a fringe um, this sold for $28. I ended up making $19.99. It took 51 days to sell, and I picked this up in Greensboro, North Carolina. The first time I met Janet. What up, Janet? And then I sold these Chennai Prestige Kabuki, I don't know, Kombuchi bronze dress shoes, size 7. Um, they sold for $20. Um, I made $15.04. I took 128 days to sell. They were really, like, cool-looking shoes. Let's see if I can get the video. Like, look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. Anyway. They're really cool shoes. And they're now sold. <laughs> then I sold these Zara Men's Dark Blue Corduroy Pants, size 30. They sold for 28 I made $20.10 on these, and they took 137 days to sell. These actually got quite a bit of um, attention as well. Then I sold this Carly black um, dress with snakeskin cape, um, size medium, and this sold for $25. I ended up making $19.30. It took 231 days to sell, though. It was new with tags. Um, I think the price tag on it was, yeah, like $96. So it was like a boutique, boutique-y type brand. Then I sold these baby fat straight leg jeans, size 16. They sold for 20. I made $14.95 and they took 143 days to sell. Then I sold a bundle of five items, including this. Um, Star Wars Last Jedi Droid Streak t-shirt, BB-9E. Um, every single thing in this bundle I just did a average cost was uh, sold for $14. Um, I made $10.42 on this shirt. It took 91 days to sell. Um, this exists tie-dye hoodie sweatshirt, size small, multicolored. 
Um, I made $10.25. It took nine months for this to sell. The Star Wars Vader is here all over costume hoodie. This sold, um, I made $10.52 on it. It took 23 days to sell. And um, this t-shirt that said the difference between a beer and your opinion is that I asked for a beer. <laughs> um, I made $11.10 on this and it took nine months to sell. And then lastly in the bundle was this really cute Build-A-Bear Superman outfit with no cape. Um, I made $10.44 on it and it sold within 11 days of listing. Um, I still have a couple other Build-A-Bear, but I figured this one would be the one that would go quickest because it is a, you know, superhero costume. So that whole bundle sold for $70, and as you saw, I went through and said what everything was. Um, then I sold this olive green crochet mini purse with coin purse. It had like a little coin purse inside of it that was attached. Um, let's see if I have a picture. And this gave me like definitely um, Y2K 90s vibes. Someone made me an offer for $10, which I accepted. Um, I made $6.25. It took 121 days to sell. Then I sold this Brandy Melville Jada Daisy Print Flowy Mini Dress. Someone made me an offer for $13. I ended up accepting. Um, I made $9.51. It took 75 days to sell. Brandy Melville doesn't sell a lot of times for a ton, but it sells pretty quickly. Um, this one had a lot of interest, but it was missing based on the, um, stock photo. It was missing like a strap of some sort. So I did put that in the listing. Then I sold this really awesome blue bulldog novelty purse and it came with its own coin purse, um, dog print and it sold for $17. I made $11.12. It took nine months to sell. I was actually kind of surprised because it was really cute. Look at all those bulldogs. They're so cute. Um, this is another thing that I was like wanted to keep but I would never use so I just sold it. <laughs> then I sold this I Don't Sweat I Drip Awesome Sauce red t-shirt size large. It sold for $12. I made $6.59 and it took 11 months to sell. Then I sold these Volcom freaking Chino short gray size 31. Someone sent me an offer for 15. I just decided to accept it at that time. I was in a mood and I made $11.35 and it took 125 days to sell. I don't know if y'all are going to be hearing all this rave stuff, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. Then I sold these Tal Talbot suede Aperis Ski Slip-On Leather Loafers, size six and a half. They did sell for 30, I made $22, and they took 131 days to sell. And I also picked these up at the Clothes Mentor um, closing sale. Then I sold this Dennis by Dennis Basso Faux Leather Vegan Peplum Top. It sold for $15. I honestly thought I was gonna make a lot more on this. But I made $11.07 and it took eight months to sell. So I was happy to get rid of it. Oh my gosh, he's being so aggressive. <laughs> then I sold, as I like to call this boob flame shirt from Forever 21. Um, it was like a velour embroidered. It sold for $15. I made $9.96. It took 77 days to sell. And then I sold this flying tomato off shoulder smock dress, boho size small. It also sold for $15. Um, I made $11.19. It took 150 days to sell. It had a lot of interest, but it did have some flaws. Then I sold this Grateful Dead Bears rib tank top, summer 84 roses, white size medium. I literally listed it and within a couple hours got a $10 offer. Um, it was listed as a size medium, but the pit to pit was only 11 inches, so it was tiny. Um, it also had some discolorations, and so I took the $10 offer just to be done with it. 
I ended up making six dollars on it, but I did sell within a couple to, couple hours of listing it, so I wasn't like super upset about that. Then I sold this vintage Victoria's Secret white lace garter belt. It sold for fifteen dollars. I made eleven dollars and forty six cents, and it took seventy nine days to sell. And then I sold this Victoria's Secret gold glitter zipper bag pouch. It sold for eleven dollars. I made $7.30. It took 91 days to sell. Um, this is one of the things I picked up when I was in Wisconsin. Then I sold this Oh My Gauze green tunic top, shark bite hem, size 2. I got an offer for $30 that I accepted. Um, I made $22.93. It took 16 days to sell. So definitely pick up Oh My Gauze. <laughs> I've, I think it has a really good following. Um, then I sold this pink Victoria's Secret NFL Carolina Panthers long sleeve shirt, size small. It did have some flaws, which is why I accepted a $15 offer. Um, I made $10.95. It took 92 days to sell. It had a small hole and like, um, there was something else. Oh, two like little black dots or something. It had, let me see. I'll show you. Because I do to definitely take pictures of everything. So I had those dots. Um, did I take a picture of the hole? I had that small hole. So anyway, so I always definitely put it in the description and in the pictures, any flaws, and some stuff does still sell. I do try not to pick up stuff with flaws, though, because I don't want to deal with it usually. Then I sold these Universal Thread High Rise Skinny Jeans Turquoise. They sold for $24, which I was really happy about. I made $16.89. It took 114 days to sell. And they were completely new and packaged. Like they were in the package still. They had all the tags. Um, so yeah, I was definitely excited about that. Then I sold this Torrid Palm Tree sleeveless shirt, size one, for $12 on an offer. I made $8.22 took 96 days to sell. I accepted the offer because it did have a few, it had some loose threads and stuff. Um, so it wasn't perfect. Um, I probably would have countered at least 15 if it had been like in more new condition. Then I sold these Wild Fable Fall Orange Crop Corduroy Pants, size 12. Um, I got these because Chelsea put them back <laughs> when we, she came up to Charlotte to thrift. Um, they sold for $21 on an offer, which I was super stoked about. I made $15.73. They took 113 days to sell. And I think there's only one more. Um, then I sold this Poudier Mascara Rocket Magnum New in Box Quantity 2 Lot. So it was two boxes, um, new in package. It sold full price for $35. I ended up making $28 because um, I got these for free from someone that didn't want their inventory anymore. So I had no cost of goods and they sold within a week of listing them. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, and um, I did end up throwing a lot out a lot of stuff that she had because a lot of it was not new and packaged and I didn't want to deal with it. So I just kind of threw it out or saw if any friends wanted any of it. But these sold really quickly. I also this week coming up probably have sold a Torrid jean jacket and also, what was the thing that just got an offer on? What did you just get an offer on? Oh, I have a Pyramid Collection Art to Wear shirt that has an offer on it. Just gonna wait and see if um, anyone else puts in an offer. So those two things will probably be sold in the next week. I will not have what's sold next week. I will be in Florida with the amazing Glamma. We will be doing some fun stuff. And we will be doing next Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, second Saturday at the bar with me on my channel. It's a Halloween special. So come and check out our costumes. Wear a costume if you want to chat in a costume. We don't care. Get ready for possibly some drinking games and just some fun chit chat. Um, the four of us, two of us, Glamon and I will be coming to you from Florida. And then the others will be coming from the regular places. But Glamon and I decided to go to Posh Fest even though Posh Fest isn't happening. 
<laughs> we're gonna have a good time in Orlando and we are going to go thrifting and some other fun stuff so definitely check us out the live stream will be on my channel this time around and we look forward to everyone coming and hanging out with us that is what's sold for this week I hope you guys have an awesome one and remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye, guys.